Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Please smash that like button, you guys, and subscribe if you enjoy this reading. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. And this is going to be a reading. We're going to really just take a look at July. What's coming in for you? What's going on? For love in July, what energies we're picking up, you know, all that jazz. So if you're going to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below, and I will be running a special for July, okay, for personal readings. All right, you guys, let's get into this. Here we go. Oh, you've got soulmates. Awesome. A soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. Okay. So, very beautiful. Good way to start. Let's keep it that way for you, Virgo. All right, two cards. All right, healing heart and, oh, not feeling good enough. Okay. So, all right. Not enough. Frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self sabotage, fear, ego issue, a fear issue, an ego issue, and jealousy. And then there's healing heart. Um, healing from a heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addic addiction. Okay. So Virgo, if you've got somebody on your mind at this time, I feel like that person does consider you to be a soulmate, you know? Um, but they don't feel, I, I feel like this person maybe has some self-esteem issues or they sabotage the relationship, lacking confidence and i feel like this person is really trying to heal from that or just try to get gain their confidence back start loving themselves seeing their own self-worth and their value okay um but we'll get it more into this i just feel like there's someone here virgo who you know does view you as you know that, that felt that soul connection with you okay and you do both of you have a soul contract together you do uh let's see here romance angels messages okay wow that's interesting it's deception in the reverse hmm okay somebody's coming clean no more wearing a false mask and is coming in to express their love to you this person, okay, retreat, time to disconnect from the world. So Virgo, I just kind of feel like there's somebody here who really um, wants to heal something with you. I feel like they've been wearing a false mask. They've, they've been pretending. They've been hiding behind a mask, not really expressing themselves, um, not showing you that, you know, they struggle. They have like a struggle within and with who they are, um, and they... There's something here about really just fronting. Somebody was fronting or pretending to be something that they weren't. Okay, let's see if we can try and figure out like who this person is, what's going to happen. Okay, right when I said what's going to happen, there's karma. There's like an awakening here happening. Um, this person is definitely, you know, there's an energy here of karma's hitting this person. Okay pretty hardcore they're having a spiritual awakening um or some kind of an experience at this time i feel like this person is gaining clarity um about themselves and about you in this relationship that you are their life's purpose okay and this is all happening behind the scenes i feel because i'm looking at this card and i'm seeing this eclipse this might have happened at the last eclipse as well this person is starting to, or has come to realize but yeah it's kind of behind the scenes like this awakening this enlightenment is shadowed by this by this moon energy this full moon energy okay so this is kind of like you don't i don't feel like you would know about this maybe you do but i don't feel like you know about this i feel like this person um if there was some kind of retreat or you guys are in some kind of separation um I feel like this person is kind of sitting with themselves and I just see them like I really want to reach out to Virgo I really want to tell Virgo how I feel I want to express my love <clears throat> I want to take off this damn mask and stop sabotaging this relationship and I really just want to open up and share um and reach out to Virgo because I, I feel like this person really does feel like you are their other half you are their their person 
Okay, so this is definitely um, an energy also of reconciliation, and I do feel like it sits on retreat, retreat, reconciliation. I feel like this person wants to dip away from their um, every day in July and just kind of pull their, they're pulling their energy back in July. They're like canceling plans. They're not doing they're just kind of being on their own and going through this strange spiritual like thing here where it's like, Ta -da! you know, the choir angels are coming down and the trumpets are blowing and there's reconciliation and realization and all that energy. And of course, going to be in that Venus retrograde as well. <clears throat> I feel like this person is coming to terms with the fact that they really are in love with you, Virgo. Like they truly look at that. Just like it's like right when I was saying it. You are their person, Virgo. This person is just deeply in love with you. And I feel like for however long the two of you have known each other, that's always been true for them. Um, and they've struggled. They have struggled to see that through or to make that a reality. Sorry. <laughs> they just sabotage. I feel like this person, you know, sabotages. Or they have. Um what was this person afraid of well oh okay so they just drew my eyes back to the not enough cards so i feel like this person it's not so much a fear um i feel like they felt like they would never be good enough for you or that you would abandon them or you would leave them or you would find something wrong and that's why they wore this mask to try to act it's like you can't wear the mask 24 7 seven days a week 365 days a year you know your, your your truth comes out you know um and maybe they didn't let you get close enough to them so that you would find out i mean i i don't know what like i feel like they projected that you would not or they're project you know <clears throat> excuse me projecting that you would see them see things about them if you got too close and then you would change your mind or not. So they tried to control the situation. But you know what, Virgo? Under the mask, under the veil, under the darkness, behind the veil, behind the scenes, look, the lovers is here. And I feel like this person wants you to, if they, when they express their love to you, they want you to do it back they want that same energy in return they're taking a ch well i don't necessarily feel like here they're taking a chance but they are <clears throat> they're just going against they're taking slipping that mask off and going against um what they've done before and why okay <laughs> yeah because their deception and wearing that mask kept them that's the very thing that kept this person isolated and they knew that they this is what they're coming to terms with their inability to just love themselves and, and realize that they are good enough even if other people don't think so um, or an, a particular person that shouldn't change their value of who they are. Your value always stays the same when you're valuing yourself, right? And like I always say, if you're driving past a jewelry store and one particular day you don't go in and purchase a piece of jewelry, but other people are, um, just because you don't go in and purchase it doesn't mean the value of that piece of jewelry is now, uh, you know, Oh, I can't think of the word <laughs> is now, you know, D something devalued or something, you know, um, why don't I, I can never attain words right when I need them anyway. So I, I just feel like this, this person, because of their deception, 10 of cups in the reverse, because of their mask, because of them not willing to get close, they get problems in their family. They might be an empty nester or broken marriages or relationships you know, isolation, just a lack of uh, fulfillment here. So deception, I'm sorry, with deception upright, deception in reverse here. Yeah, taking off that mask, what does that bring them? Complete and utter joy, happiness, um, the rainbow, happily ever after with you. Yeah, so this is what they're coming to terms with here. They're awakening to the fact that they're in love with you and they want that happily ever after with you. But it's, it's not awakening. I feel like they always knew that. The thing is they're awakening to now it's time to <clears throat> remove that mask. 
okay so i feel like this person in july is going to come out of the woodwork come out of the blue in a way that will not be something that you will expect or something that you've been waiting to hear or hoping or trying to pray and hoping that this person would just open up and just tell you how they feel about you tell you that they love you that they that you're the one for them and this is this is how they feel but i feel like they're you also want them to choose you um and they want you to choose them okay Virgo, I just feel like whoever this person is, okay, for some of you, it could be a Scorpio, it could be a Gemini, I know you love hearing that, um, it could be a Pisces, but apart from that, if, you know, court card shows up, we'll know for sure, um, well, not necessarily for sure, but I just feel like, Virgo, this person is like, you have, you, since the time of your existence together, they, they have always loved you, like, deep in their heart, <laughs> No matter what mask they wore on the outside, they've always had this all-knowing, all-deep understanding. And I don't know, like, if you guys are in separation or even if you're not, I don't know what happened here. But I feel like you're meant to be together despite self-sabotaging, despite anything that has occurred. Okay? And I see that reconciliation and that joy and happily ever after energy playing out in July. So let's ask, how is this person going to get in touch with Virgo? Okay, they've got strength. Clarify the strength card. Oh, okay. You've got the emperor. I cannot even believe the major arcana that's showing up here. That's Leo, Aries. Okay. Nine of swords. Hmm. I'm asking this question, but I'm not understanding. Hold on. That's not making any sense to me. Oh, now another major arcana, the chariot, Cancer. Virgo, um, they just gave me, you're going to see this you're, first of all, okay, <laughs> now I get it. That's why it doesn't make any sense because it's a little covert. The first thing you're going to notice, I feel, in July is <clears throat> this person is going to get the courage to reach out to you, come towards you, and then they're going to back out real quick. That's going to be their first attempt. So... How does that look? Um, they might drive by your house or where you work, right? Or a place that you both went to um, or an area where you both intermingled with each other. Um, and I kind of feel like they, they get like this courage to, to reach out to you. They get like right on the edge there to reach out and then they, they – they, they get scared and then they run away. Okay, I know some of you, like this is not someone who, um, like don't judge. I feel like this is not a person who is one of those emperor types. This is not, okay, male or female energy, not an alpha. This is someone who, um, I don't know if it's if it's because this is how they are that they have low self-esteem or it's because they have you on such a pedestal they're intimidated by you. Okay, it could be one or the other, but whatever the situation is, you make this you stress them out. They get stressed just by the thought of you. They have you on such a a thing here, Virgo. This person has you on such a thing. Like, more than anyone else, more than anyone has ever been in their entire life, okay? So, I do feel like they're going to try to come in, in, in in some way, you will get some kind of inclination that this person is in your periphery. You'll sense it, or you'll see something, 
you know, catch a vibe or a visual that they're approaching. And then right as soon as you catch that vibe, then it, it's like a flying, it's like a, like a UFO. It, it comes in, it hovers a little, and then pff, it spits out, right, real quick. So that's what I feel like that's going to be their first attempt. Now, are they going to try again? Because this is huge for this person. I mean, this person may even ask you to marry them as well. Or, you know, it, it's major commitment kind of thing going on here. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So they, they will do it. Okay. Page of Cups. So there will be communication. They will reach out. Um, send you something sweet. There will be some kind of a message, text message, maybe send you flowers or maybe something kind of sweet or kind of cute for some of you that might even be some type of an apology coming in from this person um, saying that they're sorry um, for A, B, and C, whatever they might have done or didn't do. But yeah, there's definitely going to be a, some type of communication and it's going to be with that page of cups, very sweet. I feel like it's just very, it's so, it's just so sincere is what I want to say. Okay. Like this person volunteers a little bit of their emotions or their feelings that just kind of catch your heart a little bit. You know what I mean? With the communication. For some of you, they might even like send their daughter or a niece <laughs> to reach out to you. I, I just got that strange message or a child it could just be a child to reach out to you okay now I wasn't asking anything but I will touch on the six of swords so I do feel like there is some type of travel involved in this scenario as well um, and it's also like a necessary transition this person I feel like there may be some relocating happening here or moving to another place okay um but this is mostly the Six of Swords. Like this person, they know they have to do this. They know they have to like face the fact that you might say no to them. You might reject them. You might, you know, this, this feels like it's their journey. Now, some of you might not. Some of you might say, you know, yeah, let's talk. You know, that kind of thing. And others of you, because um, I don't see you sitting here with any judgment. Others of you, you know, might just be like, no, I'm seeing somebody else or, you know, it's fine, we'll just be friends, or I'm not, I don't see you that way, or whatever the, the, whatever the rejection might be. Um, but they know that they have to do this. They either need to apologize to you for something, or for a lack of something, um, or it's just a message that they really just want to tell you that they love you, and that, you know, maybe apologize for not telling you that directly, okay? All right, let me see your energy in mirroring or not mirroring your energy in response to this now just remember whatever you choose to do after this reading is entirely up to you but some of you okay so you've got the eight of pentacles virgo so some of you are going to get this message while you're at work some type of communication or you'll be at work when all this starts to play out or you'll be doing something that you're very focused on and you may not see it okay right away i want to tell you that and i feel like some of you have pushed back on this energy this person and just decided you know what i'm just going to do me i'm just going to work on me my, my bills i'm going to you know work on my craft keep doing what putting the effort in my own life doing whatever i need to do for myself and I feel like because of this, because you, it looks like have been doing you and focusing on yourself. I feel like because of this, um, is, isn't it just the way, you know, life happens on a Tuesday afternoon when you least expect it, right? Some of you might get some message on a, on a Tuesday afternoon in July. Okay. So uh, yeah, I feel like at first you're not, you may not notice, you might get a vibe. Some of you I know. You've been getting vibes that this person is something's up. You know, you could just feel the vibe, right? And I know some of you have been like, it's just a matter of time, okay? It's not like for this, it's just a matter of time for this person to break down, although some of you might be feeling that way. It's more like it's just a matter of time before the dust settles and this person will be coming back around, okay? But I don't see you reaching out to them. 
I don't see you doing that at all. I feel like a lot of you are like, bring the blood, bring the, you got to bring the bloody stump. You got to bring it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Virgo, it's like, you've got no, I mean, you got pentacle of one. Like you, you've given up on, every, some of you have given up on hearing some good news. Some of you have, I will just say that, you know, some of you are like, this is not going to happen. I'm taking care of my kids. I'm paying my bills. I'm doing my charities. I'm doing whatever. I'm, you know, dropping some coins and some coin slots elsewhere. If you know, catch my drift there. But you are, I feel like, I don't know. I just kind of feel like you're not even paying attention to this energy with this or this person anymore. Okay. Yeah. Like, Virgo, I will tell you, this is, there are no court cards here yet. This is a total match. This person, they view you as the empress, okay? And you can switch it, just reverse it. I'm not getting into all that. You, they view you as the empress, that you have always been that. And you are now sitting in this position in July where you, you're like, yeah, that's right. Or maybe you've always felt that way about yourself. But this person did not feel that way that they were the emperor. And I feel like this person is coming around here. So that's coming correct. That's bringing all the energy in. You know, this is like, okay, I know what I need to do. I know that I need to stand up and take the lead here with myself. That's the energy that this person is leveling up to, to where you are, right? And what does the saying always go? Like, you, you want someone who's going to match your loyalty. You want someone who's going to match you, be on the same uh, playing field. You know, you someone who's in the same weight class. You, you want equality here, Virgo. And I feel like that wasn't happening. And I feel like this person, I don't know if they're, they go into some training or they get some kind of counseling or they have some mentor. They're, they're coming to realize that they needed to be the one to take, take charge or step up in this situation or take the lead. They didn't, yeah, and I feel like it's kind of difficult for this person. I don't know why. Um, like I said, either they've had you on some kind of a pedestal to the point where you're almost out beyond the stars and unreachable, at least in their mind, or... They just felt so um, low on the totem pole that they can only accept those that were at down at that level as well. Like you just too good for them or they just have like self-esteem problems. You know, they just don't. They're just they're just one of these people who don't ever feel like they're worthy of anything good or that no one would fully love them or just fully accept them or people would leave them or abandon them. They had a the great fear of that. So they never really cross that threshold. There's something about you, Virgo, that I feel like they know. There's a, cr a, a, a threshold with you, Virgo, that they are, they're coming to realize that this is a threshold they need to cross here or they're going to spend the rest of their lives broke, busted, and disgusted with just all those other tadpoles at the bottom of the fish pond. You know what I mean? Virgo's like, I don't know, a swan or something. A beautiful, gorgeous swan. All right, let's get, I want to see what these, this person's like feelings. All right, so they do know that you guys will be together again. There's no doubt there. Um, at least either they know it or they feel it or they're just hoping Okay, and they, they keep telling themselves that, you know, I mean, even if it's just to have coffee and a conversation and not go any further than that, they do know that you and, and them, they, that you guys will come into contact again in some form or another. And they're, they're going to try to initiate that with you. <laughs> All right. I know some of the guys in the chat are just like, what a, what a simp. Like, you know what, you guys don't judge because you're all single sitting here listening to my reading. Well, except for maybe one. Don't judge other people because you never know until you're in someone's shoes. You don't know what people go through. All right. Yeah. See, Virgo, this person becoming a better person. And this is really all that they ever wanted for themselves. I don't know 
what happened in your relationship, but there's something going on with this person in July where they're doing the work, Virgo. I mean, this is one of those occasions where this person, whoever they are for you, are doing the work. They're doing the work. They're putting in the effort. You know, I got to admit something. I just saw JF, or RFK Jr., 58 years old, doing push-ups. And when he got up, I, I almost, I about fell out my chair. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Listen, I don't know why I'm trying to say this, but he got my vote right then and there. <laughs> why did I even bring up RFK Jr.? I don't even know. I, I don't do the political thing, but I'm just saying, like, damn, you're 58 and you're doing that kind of work and that's how you look and that's the effort you're putting in. And it's not just about the physical, of course, but, you know, if you're putting in the physical work, I mean, obviously you care about yourself, you know, there's, there's just something there. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, enough of me, enough of my drool sesh. <laughs> okay. I will wait for a sign from you. Hmm. Okay, Virgo. Virgo, you and this person have some kind of kinetic connection. Is that the word I want to use? Um, they can feel your energy. You can feel them. They're sending you signs as well, and they're getting yours. There's things that remind them about you, and there's things that remind you about them. And that is not just for some of you, not all of you, but this is, this is not just um, you being hooked on this person or them being hooked on you this is like signs coming down saying don't forget me don't forget me and why because you two are supposed to have this connection i know it sounds like way out in outer space there to say that but this person like they look for signs because i feel like they don't want you to be gone and you don't want them to be gone right and if there if no sign comes that of some some kind of sign that reminds them of you, they get this nine of swords here. They get really like anxious and full of fear and anxiety um, because that's I feel like for this person, that's all they have left are some kind of sign which con confirms like a connection with you. I mean, they don't have that. Yeah, they get real stressed. They don't want you to be gone. They're just kind of like. Just don't leave yet. Just don't leave yet. Just wait for me. I'm I'm coming. I'm trying to get it all together here, and they're and they're hoping that you you will just that these telepathic signs will keep coming. I don't usually give messages like this, you guys. I really don't. You know, majority of the time, some of y'all just need to let go of people. But I'm telling you, I'm picking this up real strong. I remember every detail of that day. Well, so there, something sticks in their mind when it comes to you and them together in whatever realm. That is one thing that this person holds on to, especially. And I don't know what it was. You might not even know what it is. It may not hold any significance to you, but whatever it was, it holds significance to them. It could have just been a look. It could have been a touch. It could have been a word. Anything. But every detail, this person, I will tell you this, you remember every detail of your face, and your expressions burned into their, their mind. Every detail of, of, of whatever was around you and you yourself has not left them. They have not forgotten this. All right, give me one more for Virgo. Okay, I'm starting to understand our connection. Yeah. So I feel like Virgo, this person, they have a disconnect. There's something with this person that causes them to not feel good enough or not worthy enough. They have some kind of a disconnect, okay, when it comes to um, emotional relationship, okay. I feel like maybe before... Um, they didn't understand you um, or what you wanted from them or <clears throat> what your connection was. And now as time has gone by, I feel like they're beginning to understand now the whole purpose of the relationship, that this was a true soulmate relationship, that this was like you too. Uh, there's, there's just some kind of vibe. 
between you and this person. There's some kind of similarity between the two of you. And it's been really hard getting on the same page. There was a runner chaser energy. And now everything's coming. The dust is beginning to settle. And I feel like this person now is really beginning, becoming, um, getting into this place of fully understanding what you guys had together, what you meant to each other, what the energy, um, why things happened, why things didn't happen. I mean, this person's having a major wake up call. Major in this relationship, major in this connection. And like I said, Virgo, I mean, whether you want this back or not, I feel like during July, I mean, you might have deep in your heart somewhere that little fl little flame but it's more like a tiny little spark right can it be can it be inflamed yes but as of right now going into july i feel like you're not even focusing on that you're focusing on you and your maintenance i don't feel like you're focusing on becoming better i feel like you're focusing on maintenance which i have never said before but that's what i feel right now you know, maintaining the status quo of who you are. And that's what the Empress is. The Empress represents someone who is nurturing, who is loving, um, embracing the feminine part of yourself, especially. Um, if, you know, it's all about growth, fertility. That's, that's where you're at, Virgo. And, and, and that's just keeping that going, just doing your thing, you know. So I don't see you here needing to go through some kind of major growth process. I feel like in July, you will have just gotten yourself into the maintenance. Like, I already know what I need to do. I just got to keep it going. That's all. All right. Messages of love for Virgo. Okay. Firm boundaries are needed now. Or some firming cream for some of you. <laughs> say does that stuff even work i don't know i don't use it firming cream okay so so virgo just i feel like for you just keep doing what you're doing as far as like doing your thing this person's journey is not yours this is someone who um you know needs to go through i mean you don't want somebody to come back if they haven't come back with some tales to tell and some experiences to share you know, you don't want someone to come back and just be like, oh, it's just the same thing. You want to hear, you know, you want someone to say, oh, well, this is what I went through and this is what I've come to realize. And this is the experience that I've had. Okay. So you need to keep your boundaries intact, right? Keep them firm and just let this person, just leave it alone. Let this person go through their shifts and their changes. Okay. Now you do have marriage. So this relationship is moving towards a sacred union. Yeah. And that's the trajectory with you and this person. This has always been the trajectory. However, um, you still have free will and you still get to decide if that's what you want or not. But I also feel like um, it, this doesn't have to be actual marriage. This just could be the soul marriage, um, the sacred union. Okay, which validates this as a marriage. It doesn't have to be actual, like legal or anything like that. Um, but there is an energy. I feel like you two are already married in spirit. And you both, this, I mean, I know it's, it's a soulmate, but maybe this is like turning into some kind of a twin flame thing. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I do feel like this person is having a major wake up call absolutely a huge awakening in their life i don't know if they're hitting that you know I, I don't know how old they are but whatever age you both could be older you got the emperor and the empress so maybe someone's going through a midlife kind of thing as well like oh no midlife <laughs> okay let me just get a couple more messages here and then I'm going to go have my salad because I'm starving. Okay, let's see. All right, vulnerability. You can be completely vulnerable with this person. Okay, but that means when they come in being vulnerable with you, when you feel it's safe, then you can be vulnerable with them. It doesn't mean for you to reach out to this person because House of Virgo said that they were on their way and then opening yourself up 
and making yourself like a pin cushion. No, allow this person to come in in the way that they feel they need to come in because that's about them, right? Don't do them any favors. Don't, you know, sweep the path so that when they come up your doorstep, it's all fresh and clean, Virgo. Just, you know, leave it alone. Let them come up the way they need to come up. All right, just one more. Just one more. Okay, decision. So you definitely will have a decision. This person is deciding. That's for sure. They're coming in. They are going to, their intentions here, Virgo, is to come into union with you and to remove that mask and to show you how they feel and to tell you and to communicate that with you. That's the whole reason they're reaching out to you. It's for nothing else but that. Maybe even just a simple apology. Get the ball rolling. Nothing else. I don't see anything here with deception. I don't, but you, at the end of the day, when you click off this reading, you have to use your own judgment, right? You have free will. You have to use your own discernment. But I don't see anything here that's telling me this person is coming in with it, uh, bad intention. I don't, I don't, I'm not picking that up. Okay, not yet. Anyway, so let's see. What are your Moon Pie Tarot messages? Also, if you guys want to purchase this deck, there is a link in the description box below. This is my own personal deck. Yes, I'm doing a self shameless plug. Um, this is my personal deck and you can, yeah, you can get this for yourself. I do have it available. Just click the link in the description box below. You'll see it. Okay, so new plans are evolving, Virgo. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Virgo. There's changes. This person's coming in. They want to make plans with you. Things are about to change in July. And I will tell you when in July. I'm actually going to give you a date. When in July. Oh, good. You've got money in the bank, so you'll be able to make them plans. Nice. So apart from love, wonderful. Money's coming in, Virgo. Victory, recognition, and applause. Okay. You're going to be... I don't know if you do something um, where you're on stage or in the public eye or something along those lines. People are applauding you. There's victory and you're going to get paid well for that kind of work or something that you do, you know, where everyone's like sitting there like, yay, clapping their hands like seals. Yay, Virgo. Great show. <laughs> We're coming back. We're going to buy more tickets. And there comes the money in your, your pocket. Okay, let's see. And you also have peace. The influence of balance and harmony are over you. And this is what I was saying. Leave things be and allow spirit to work. All good things are happening behind the scenes. Remember, that's what I said with the judgment card here. Behind the scenes here. Behind in this eclipse. Okay. Uh, trust that God is working in your life. Even when you feel discouraged, be patient and trust his timing, Virgo. Like, just, you know, chill. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Don't sweat your little self. You know, go have a drinky drink. Do whatever. Relax. Be happy. Be joyous. Be happy. Be free. Think positive thoughts. It's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing when you've got nothing but positive energy running through your brain at all times. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. Let's see if we can get a Chinese sign for this person and you. Moving right along, and we are footless and fancy. All right, where'd that come from? Who knows what that song is from? If you guess that, I will die. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I can't even believe, I just snorted. I can't even believe that that song just came into my head like that. I mean, what the? <laughs> Somebody must have a connection to that song. Moving right along, we are footless and fancy. I don't know the rest of it, but okay. Chinese signs, please, spirit. Quit messing around. All right, we're starting off with Year of the Horse. This could be you and your person together, or just one of you, or neither. We'll see. Okay. Year of the Dog. Year of the Goat. Year of the Rabbit. We are in the year of the rabbit, and I must say, it has been pretty profound. Rabbits are generally kind of cute and hoppy and soft and gentle. I mean, it has not been a gentle year. I don't know what's going on. Year of the tiger. We've got the rat. You've got the monkey. 
and the ox. Well, that was pretty straightforward, if I do say so myself. All right, let's see if we can pick up some names and other other goodies. Let's see. What else does Virgo need to know? What else does Virgo need to know? Other names. Other randoms for Virgo. Okay. All right, they just gave me an elephant. Somebody likes elephants. They just said, somebody likes elephants. Elephants are strong. Also picking up some stained glass window. Either somebody makes stained glass or you see one somewhere. Like, it's very beautiful though. It's glowing. I see it glowing. Okay. Uh, okay, I see someone in a grocery store putting items in one of those weight things that they have you know in like the produce section where you put your you put your uh, well, I guess you don't put fish or meat in there but whatever potatoes you're weighing somebody's weighing food in a grocery store okay let me see and just so you know if you're new in my channel the reason I do this part here is um, this kind of gives you um, a little attachment to the reading it just kind of gives you a little more clarifying um, that uh, qualifying that this reading is definitely for you so if any of these little extra messages at the end here someone's 49 years of age if any of these extra messages resonate with you then this just confirms it even more that it's your reading um, but if everything prior to this confirms it that's still good okay all right, let me see. Okay, um, so there's a female who has a left ovary issue. Ovary, left side issue. I'm not seeing anything major. I'm just seeing maybe there's there's a, a female who holds the left, the area where the left ovary is because of like maybe a weird feeling, something uncomfortable. I'm seeing that, okay. I'm not seeing anything major, nothing bad with that. I, I just see a female doing that. A female with an ovary, with a female reproductive system. Let me see. Okay. All right. Somebody likes Bruce Lee. Hiya! Little Kung Fu. Somebody does martial arts. Hi! Hi! Okay. Um, all right. Some of you are going to get a message on July 5th. I will tell you that right now. Uh, <laughs> and I do also see, okay, when is July 5th? So here in the U.S., right, we've got the 4th of July Independence Weekend. All right, July 4th is on a Tuesday. So I guess July 1st, I guess June 30th, July 1st, July 2nd is a weekend. So everyone's going to be celebrating, I guess, over the weekend. You're going to hear from someone at least the week, the week of July 5th. I just heard John Wick. John Wick. Wasn't that, wasn't that a guy in a movie? Okay. You're going to hear something. And also some of you might lose your power that weekend. So get your candles and your flashlights and your batteries and whatever else you need. Get all that stuff together. Or go stay in a hotel or something. All right, what else? Oh, wow. All right. Somebody's got two dogs. Seeing two beautiful dogs. Maybe a lab and one of them husky-looking dogs as well. Or maybe just one. I see you um, at a park, though. I see someone at, well, it doesn't have to be you because I don't know who you are. But I see someone at a dog park, too, at night or in the evening. Okay, dog park at night. I'm also picking up the initials H, picking up J. Oh, somebody's name is, uh, somebody calls somebody Jazz. Jazz, or maybe like Jazz. Someone's in Jers, Jersey. Maybe it's Jersey or Jazzy. DJ Jazzy Jeff. <laughs> I'm not singing that. Don't, don't get me started. Um, I'm also hearing George. Okay. And that's a, okay, I can't make that out. Her, her, 
It sounds like Hercules or her her you. I, I don't know what that is. Herg. Herg. Berg. Could be a last name. Herg or Berg or like Bloomberg. Candace Bergen. Berg. Herg or Berg. Okay. It's hard to hear it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, July 4th and 5th. Yeah, you might get like an Independence Day little flag or something. I don't know. Something like that. Around that week. Okay. And... I'll just get a couple more here. Oh, I'm just hearing headquarters. Someone's at headquarters or going to headquarters. I mean, what are you with the CIA, the FBI? What are you doing? Headquarters. You're heading, somebody's heading to headquarters or you're going to be going to headquarters in July. Maybe you're there right now or you just came from headquarters. I don't know what headquarters are. Don't ask me. Someone might just have a head full of quarters. Just said headquarters. Um, let's see. To, and if these don't resonate with you, don't worry about it. It doesn't mean it's not your message. Okay. Somebody loves to eat ravioli, cheese, or meat, or someone is eating ravioli, or does something with ravioli. I know it's Italian food, something to do with Italian food. Mm, I could go for some of that right now. I'm so hungry. I gotta like stop so I can go eat. Okay, let me see. Just a couple more. All right. And then I'm going to stop here. Okay. All right, they're telling me the three Ps. What do the three Ps mean? Like P is in Paul. What do the three Ps mean? Leave a comment below if you know what that stands for. I don't know. <clears throat> I also heard military police. Okay. Yeah, if that makes any sense to you, leave it in the chat or leave it in the, the comments below. The three Ps. They're not giving me anything. They just said to tell you. Pay attention to the three Ps. <laughs> and there is a, uh, they just told me, okay, that's so strange. There is a Pirates of the Caribbean movie coming out, and they just said Johnny Depp is actually going to be a part of that movie. And I, I seem to recall, wait, was he, was he going to, he, or he wasn't going to do it anymore? Or some, I don't know. They're just saying he's going to be in the, he's going to be in the movie somehow. I'm not sure. I don't know if he's going to play Jack Sparrow, or uh, I just feel like he's going to be involved. Okay. That was just a weird message. I don't know. If anybody knows anything with that, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know because that would be awesome. All right, let's get a couple of charms. I'm going to skip the dice tonight. I'm just kind of like, I got to eat, girl, guys. All right, a whole bunch of charms here. Okay, we have a Victorian dress or a wedding dress here. All right, expect that to come, Virgo. I'm not even kidding. I know I say it, but not every message is for you. This one might be for you, though. Um, there's something to do. Someone's looking at dresses or you will be looking at dresses for something. Um, or you're going shopping with someone who's looking at dresses. Uh, very significant. Now, for some of you, this is, this looks like a very, it could be dresses like for a ball or a dance or a prom or someone's making dresses or does something with gowns. Okay. All right. What the heck is this? Oh, a little airplane. Okay. Hmm. Do you know when I was a kid, I used to call, I know they were called biplanes, but I used to call them bip planes. Bip plane. <laughs> I'm a weirdo. Actually, I didn't stop doing that until I was in my 30s. And I was like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Duh. So yeah, there's a plane. Uh, there's a trip. Now, this is a small plane. This is not, well, it's twin engine. So, I don't know. There's definitely a flight or someone's going on a um, charting a flight or going somewhere or coming somewhere or as a pilot. Okay. And I'm just going to do one. More. Well, I'm going to do three more, but it's actually two. Um, 
somebody has like an infinity symbol that has it looks like a horseshoe it's like it's got like a horseshoe kind of look look at that that's what i'm seeing there and somebody's birthday is on the eighth also that's pretty simple but something to do with an infinity symbol maybe you're going to get one or it's a chain infinity symbol chain okay and i'm also you know look dolphin and starfish okay so someone is attached to the sea um very attached to the sea lives by the sea maybe you Maybe you live in a pineapple under the sea. I don't know what your situation is, but there is definitely a dolphins and starfish uh, sea energy connected to the ocean and the seas. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there because that was a lot of fun. And um, I'll be back here tomorrow to do your uh, tomorrow's reading. And again, if you want to get a personal reading with me, there's a link in the description box below. If you don't, or you can't afford the reading, although I will have a special in July. If you can't afford it, I totally understand. You can join my channel, though, for $9.99 a month. That's 33 cents a day. And just show up on the live stream on Sundays. And you can pop in and just be like, what's going to happen in my love life? And I'm going to be like, oh, well, you got this person coming in. And you know what? They're very secretive. And, um, oh, you've got two people coming in. <laughs> And they're very secretive, and one of them is super, super secretive, and one of them is got the devil attached to them. Ugh! So that's an example, but hey, you know what? Weird that the king of swords showed up there and the king of cups. Maybe that's a separate message. Maybe we'll save that for tomorrow. Anyway, I will see you guys back here tomorrow. I love you all. Make good choices. Be happy. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your night, your morning. Uh, peace out. Bye.